Well, tonight there's a big question on the minds of many. Just how much money will sports betting take in once it becomes legal tomorrow in North Carolina? It has been a source of wild speculation and maybe even a bet or two, but we know the money will be big. And once it starts, don't expect a huge moment, really, but do expect a lot of tapping on your phone. The plan for sports betting was always to have it start before the NCAA tournament. Once it was approved last year by the General Assembly and signed into law at the Spectrum Center, a lot of work has been happening just to get everything off the ground. Queen City News has been telling you about the ins and outs, the companies involved, the rulemaking, and the potential for something big, especially ahead of the college basketball championships, simply for the fact that a lot is going to be there. It's a lot of money and a lot of people, absolutely. It's just it, it, any, any real estimate of it to me is just like, Kind of like uh, I just pick a number out of the air. You'll see FanDuel and DraftKings, along with BetMGM, ESPN Bet, and Bet365, among others, with many offering some sort of bonus just for signing up. The companies themselves are set to make a lot of money, but the tax revenues from it will also mean a lot of money going to the state of North Carolina, too. How that money will be divvied out will be in a number of ways. Amateur sports and public universities, among other things, will be getting some money. But one big aspect of all the money the state is getting is helping fund gambling addiction and treatment programs. While companies in the state stress gaming responsibly, people are aware that it happens and there's a fear it could soon become more of an issue. We know that one in five individuals with gambling disorder will attempt suicide, so that's a very scary reality. But we also know that about 50% will commit one of these gambling motivated crimes. If you're expecting a physical location, there are already three options at the travel casinos in North Carolina, but don't expect to see ones outside of there for at least a few months. Most of what will very likely be seen is through phone apps, apps owned by companies which have been itching for years to get a slice of the Carolina betting pie. If you are betting responsibly and adhering by all the guidelines, it can be a really fun activity that just adds a little extra incentive in a game. And those who want to sign up for sports betting, they can do it now as far as when you'll be able to place your bets. Again, it's happening tomorrow starting at noon. Now, multiple launch events are happening across North Carolina this week in honor of the sports betting kickoff. In fact, tomorrow in Charlotte, DraftKings is having a launch party at the NASCAR Hall of Fame. Panthers legend Greg Olson will be there to place the ceremonial first bet. Both FanDuel and Fanatic Sportsbook, they will be holding launch parties in Raleigh.